Hello, 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 hello. Today here coming in next session to bring you another video of Ultimate Admirals Age of Sail. American Revolution. Oh, USS Freedom. How you are going to win us our freedom because you cannot be touched until a little bit later. I think maybe next turn, maybe next stage. Anywho, we have some good ships already. We have Freedom, Fury, which was HMS Fury, now USS Fury because that's a cool name. USS Hancock. That exist. <laughs> so there's that. It does have a lot of guns, but well, we have little to no money. I'm trying to figure out: Do I want to give you your twelve pounders, which I intended to do? Overloaded. So okay, maybe not. I can get the light pound, the light twelve pounders. It's a short barrel. But I can always increase that, so probably do, because I think Fury will stay with us for a while, because she can carry, like I said, 12 pounder, but as you can see, she can only carry 9. Or, well, 12 pounder is short guns. Or might pounder long guns. I'll try to try for those and put them over there. Or, yeah, because you can also only do 9 pounders. 6 rate, 5th rate, 5th rate. We do have another one of these 6 rates HMS Rye, which I don't know what I want to do with her yet. You I will keep, however, for obvious reasons. All right, let's see. What do we use? We use all these except for the sea service. Okay, short lands can. No, oh, no, I do use those. All right, let's see. I'll get rid of the sea service. Yeah, you know, forty seconds, forty-one seconds. Am I already? So I will get rid of the musket, the surf musket and bayonet. Yes. Which, as a matter of fact, I'll probably get rid of all the sea service because, like I said, we're using. I want to use the chevaliers, and well, we got a very good chevalier. The only thing we're gonna get better, or on par of that for the British, is if I go here, and it should be that one. Yeah, sea service seventy-eight musket. That's it. interesting things that means that we could get some of these Americans like the US 1792 rifle which actually for dropping it down third I might do that yeah I'm gonna do that now how good is this one let's take a look see my weapons there you go there's a the Kentucky rifle which is good in and of itself already. Shortland, Chevalier, Chevalier is dad, US rifle. Ah, uh, yes. Very good. A long reload is a full minute for a reload, but well. Oh, so there's no difference than them. Okay, so actually they're faster reload than the standard Kentucky rifle. But I get the bayonet, which gives it a longer reload, but it's even more deadly and is very good in melee. And you can't get the sword bayonet with this one, evidently. Would be bad to give these to the skirmishers, so you the 1942 rifle. Or 1942. I wish I had a 1942 rifle. <laughs> give me that one, Grant, please. No, but I think in the army is more than likely going to be using the uh, Springfield here. The Springfield or even possibly the short rifle. More than likely the Springfield. But money is tight. And I might actually sell some of these ships. Wait, we're going to get rid of... Excuse me, I'm making the executive decision. We're gonna just get rid of sea surface muskets. These might shoot me in the foot. No pun intended, but yeah, everything else we use: short lands, infantry carbines, the chevaliers. These are the no, these aren't the sea surf going chevaliers. But do any of my men use these standard chevaliers? Let's find out. I use Kentucky rifles. Short land, short land, sea service. Or 
Chevalier Sea Service. Sea Service. Infantry, infantry, which we've seen are deadly, especially with the firearms course. They, they shoot really fast. Suppressive fire. Accuracy by volume. Short land and sea service. Sorry, so we gotta get rid of some more sea service eventually. Be a lot longer to transfer out the land military from sea service muskets. Saturday, 29. Why did this one? The I Battle of Block Island. Ah, uh, yes. Actually, this one I'm glad to do. I might do against the odds. After successful raid on Nassau's ports, our fleet was sailing back with its prizes when it encountered the HMS Glasgow. It is crucial that we deliver these prizes safely or else risk our force going without supply. Again. Yep. Uh, I think I could do against the odds. How much should I increase the money by? Decent amount. That one gives me a lot better, so I think we'll do this one just, just follow the orders. Well, I used to do this without the ability to increase the against the odds, so no, I think we'll live. No, first off here, because last time we're going to do freedom. Hmm. Hancock. Spear and Dauntless on the other side. We are returning from the Sith Ray on the Bahamas, where we captured several prizes. Hope to get lucky and catch more British ships on our way home. So we have several ships scouting away from the main column. One of the scouts on our right spotted a sail on the horizon and turned out to be a British frigate and they're planning to attack it. So it should be a Raze if I remember correctly. However, we must also protect our prizes. Yep, and the munitions. All right, so this should be the Raze. I don't know. No, she's not Raze. Base game, she, in the for our first player, she was a Raze frigate, which helped a lot. But she's not. Oh, okay. I think she's a Unity. She is a Unity class. Okay, well. Evidently, Unities have pretty strong hulls, I just saw. They don't carry big guns, but they have strong hulls, so uh, I guess you're worth it. I'll just have my ship of the line go for you. And then I'll have Unity attempt to blast you from forward here. Because I'm confident Unity could win. Or Hancock, not Unity. Okay, I'm gonna name one Unity. See, we got Fly. I don't care about you. I don't care about these guys. They're not gonna do anything. Okay, well, prefer you guys go full speed. In chamber, must. Okay, these little guys are gonna be so useless. I absolutely, honestly, I just want them out of the way because they're gonna take up so much space in my attempt. Should have done against the odds. Because well, honestly, yeah, we have a third rate ship at the line. They're unless they bring in another third rate. And even then, I got supporting ships. I'll have Hancock try and cut her off. I'll try to have you hit the mast. I love this this profile of an Age of Sail ship. Just the mast design it just looks so good. Light. Oh yeah, give me that. Oh, if you can come off, so if you could come straight down the hall, straight down, that would give me a good shot to the mast. 
Oh, he missed him sail horribly. See, you'll turn into the wind if you do that. for the boarding. I remember Glasgow was a uh, Raze. Yeah, like just because I don't want you shooting up our own buddy, I want you to shoot near the rear. sink it because like I said I want ships. Let's just start the boarding process. Let me switch to grape. Yeah, that's already gonna hurt her as well. Come on. Bring her in. Those ropes are gonna Oh well that sucks. Match speed and bring her up. Take the prize. All right, we're just not getting the prize, evidently. Too slow. around because evidently she's just not stopping all right we'll try and just bully her then Okay, I guess that works. Somehow they've managed to board at approximately seven knots. Oh, I see enemies ahead. Which means I need to get, uh, where is the other two big ships in my fleet? Fury and Dauntless. Oh, you're a little bit of a decent sized ship. Don't sink. Here. Deploy some troops over there, assist. What are you? I think you're a thing. Yeah. That's the same ship as, uh. Dauntless, I think? No, it's, uh, Fury. So you would be a good ship to get, although you have 1,200 squared fairies, uh, 9. But I got like twice the crew as you. Okay, now she's no longer sinking good. And all I gotta do is just get this ship in the line in there and game over. Oh, that's against the wind. Well, this thing's out of, uh... Out of the battle. 
Well, I'm sure you guys can annoy them. All right, let's speed up. Reggie, here you go to AI control. You're not my ship, so I don't care what happens to you. I was hoping I could get her to come towards the convoy. Well, I can try. Have fun, guys. Oh, wind change. Okay, well, that changes a few things already. It changes a lot of things. Because guess who can now attempt to join the flight? Flight? Yes, the flight. These things are now flying. Full sail, if you would please. Ten knots. That's impressive. Look at that lean, though. Oh, so beautiful. Flag wrong again. Ooh, that's all eleven knots. Look at that! We're going 11 knots! Impressive. Okay, where do you think you guys are going? Oh! He blew up. Oh no! What a shame. Look who's arriving. <coughs> I believe the words, oh shit, is coming to mind for the Brits. Oh, let's switch to ball. You're yeah, not something you want to see charging you down. Fury is going to be the flagship for Fury. Freedom is going to be the flagship for all five. Gotta get close to board anyway, so yeah, probably make them close to brawlers. More cannons than normal. Ooh, good shot. Yeah, where do you think you're going, buddy? You're not gonna run away. Alright, let's see if I can attempt this again. That didn't work out too well. It hurt the mast. It hurt it a lot. We'll probably have Fury go for the boarding.
Oh, she has no bowsprit. Okay. See if you can actually hit. that are lower. Yeah, switch to grape. I wish you could say this side to load uh, standard wall for the no wind change, huh? That's fine. Works for me. Can you imagine the sound that must make? Excellent. Providence, could you just, like, get out of the way? Oh, we got the boarding process. Oh my god, yeah, our crew are absolutely lethal in boarding combat. Yeah, just, just aim for the hull. I really don't care about the snow. Providence, I'm gonna have you stop, because... All right, let them have it. Providence, if you get shot, oops. You want to try and borrow? Feel free. I thought I'll just stop. Yo, man, yay, got her. Good ship, good ship design. I see the ship design. It's a heavy ship. It's a 12 pounder main battery, which we're going to have for the bottom. I'd like to get carronade at some point. Alright. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> oh my god, we're just dragging her. <coughs> I don't think there's a point in boarding. <laughs> If I were her, I'd just give up right now. Is that her 
sinking or is us dragging? I think that's her sinking. <laughs> Damn. Looking at goods here. That's good. I get more shit to sell. Man's there to read, think, speak, and write. Well, Hancock needs repair. That's really the only ship that needs repairs in the Holy Twenty Six. Damn. That was nothing but profit. All right. Well, Catherine, you have proven very good for us. You have done a good job. However, your services are now no longer required. I give you to the states of the United, and I hope you serve them well in your, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Service to America. I salute ye gone. Other, I'm not going to repair you. Uh, go away. Rye. I no longer need you. Uh, yeah. Goodbye. I'll keep these two for now. Cerberus. Although I like the Dauntless here. But now we got some really good ships. Alrighty. HMS Glasgow. 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 Yeoman we will take. She's actually... I'll take HMS Yeoman and repair her. She will not become HMS, no, no, it's USS. Mm, let's see. Mm. I said I was gonna name a Unity, but I wanted it to be a Unity class, but this will work. Nah, you know. You know what? Nah, not Unity. Oh, name her after Catherine. Hang on. I am not the best speller. E R I E. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, we'll name her after that. Look on board. You will not be using sea service muskets. We don't use sea service muskets here anymore. Uh, since you are a, a, uh, that class, you will be a boarding ship. That is your job, is to board. And, um, which one was good at better at boarding? 1728. So you will be... B Using the 1728 rifle. No rifle. There. Nope. There. Uh, you. Okay. Okay. We do have enough. Somewhat. Minimum. Optimum. We will put you on optimum crew for now because I can't afford to get the max amount. Okay. Let's get that because that's gonna look too bad. Got any more chief officers? One there. You and how close were you? Okay, perfect. Excellent. Glasgow. I'll save you for now. Unless there's someone, so if I get someone better. All right. I could drop you to the nine pounders at the. Uh, Fear uses the long guns. But I'm tempted to switch back to 12 pounders. I don't got Karen. Well, the only thing I got are these, which are not bad for Karen aids, they're better for range. Oh, 
want to do that these as well. Yeah. So if anything, I would probably use the East India Company. Because I don't think there's a longer carronade. I mean, what? Can I buy carronades? <coughs> well, we're going to need that, so let's get that. And that. All right. So now we have actual carronades. Oh, Jesus Christ. I could put that. Oh, no. These are the long guns. Yes. That's the good carronade I want. Can I get the 12? Oh, I can get the 18 pounder. That's nice. We're not gonna get 18. Uh, I think the Kong. Get 24 pound carronade here. So 18 pounder. You're the East India. So I guess 18 pounder is the only one, I guess, that uh, long barreled version. So. Let's see. Because if you can get. Mm, give me that 32 pounder. See, that just seems death. Or a 24 pounder carronade. So I could do. I could keep the 24 pounder range. Because you can get the standard 24 pounder for the top. Okay, but we're going to switch these to 12 pounder cannons. Um. Less range, less plate, but it's an 18 pounder. No, we'll probably keep the 12 pounders. So, and Loomerfield are the good ones. Yeah, it's overweight. So, if I drop this down back to one, yeah, 350. I get a 12 pounder carry needs. Not the, the 12 pounder East India for the longer. Upgrade that. I'm fine with upgrading these figures because they're gonna be used, I'm gonna be using them a lot. Oh Jesus Christ, money. Get rid of the four pounders and then the six pounders and then these nine pounders and then the six pounders as well. I'm not using them. Land weapons. Oh, yes, we gotta sell some of these sea serpents because I don't use them. I'll keep you for now. Get that done. Oh my god, that's so much less weight. But we do need the upgrade because we do plan on being on doing boarding. So boarding equipment two and then the unified. And then there goes all that money. So the Armstrong guns are fine though. Oh, you only have the one. Okay, wow. Ooh. Can't pass that up. Lovely. Okay, we're running out of money. That's okay. Uh. Sure. <coughs> oh, that's why. Okay. 
Now we got this one, which is three ships, which is probably just literally going to be Freedom, Fury, and Catherine. Let's see how well they do. 9.4. 9.4. Yeah, it's like that. Uh, can you take it back up to optimum? No, I cannot. Let me just stop him. Or I might use Hancock. I know, but it's okay. So we use Fury. The, the optimum's not too bad. <laughs> oh, hang on. Ah! Bollocks. Alrighty! Now for the end of this video, this is 2000. Thank you for joining me on this play of Ultimate Religious Sale. Stay safe and as always, have an awesome, awesome day.